This model by Conrad represents a truck used by Senebogan to transport its machines to customers. The real truck shown on the box is a Mercedes-Benz Actros with a Moisberger trailer. And the model is a compromise because it's a Mercedes-Benz Arox with a Goldhofer trailer. As you can see the box is very high quality and there's black foam rubber inside. And that protects the model nicely. There's also a bag of parts. To begin with we have to do the usual old fashioned Conrad thing of separating parts from their moulding sprues. And these parts are mirrors and aerials. With the parts separated we can put our overalls on and then carry out the installation. There are three sets of mirrors, there are two door mirrors, one on each side. And a small mirror which goes over the passenger side of the cab. Next there is one aerial to fit and that pushes into a hole in the roof although you might need to trim it a little bit to get a good fit. And then clunk click does the trick as we join tractor and trailer. Looking underneath the Arox and the various tanks and exhaust box are modelled in metal and the transmission and rear axle is modelled in plastic. The tyres have a similar tread pattern front and rear and at the front the steering is functionally modelled rather than accurate. Up on the roof there's a big beacon light bar and the Arox grille looks very convincing. The Mercedes logo is there of course and there's an accurate number plate and decent looking lights. On the side there's some nice looking Senna Bogan graphics. The steps and wheels are nicely detailed and at the back there's a number plate and decent lights and the wheel arches are plastic. But unusually for a truck model there are no coiled lines. Moving to the trailer and it's based on a fairly old Conrad model and so the level of detailing is not the highest. The structures there and there are some plastic tanks with the rest being fairly simple. On the gooseneck there's a spare wheel and various textures and some simple decoration. That continues on the trailer deck where the wood inserts are painted metal. But there are a few more details at the back. Starting underneath the Arox, and like many Conrad models, the steering is very good. And for some reason the lock is much harder on one side than it is on the other. Also nice are the rear wheels which are not joined onto a common axle. So when it comes onto the cranes etc test track the Arox rolls along very smoothly. Let's try the steering one way and it produces a reasonable angle. And if you turn it the other way you can get a very sharp turn indeed. Moving on to the trailer functionality and the rear four axles have proportional steering. And the first axle also steers but all of the steering is a little bit spongy. Axles 1 and 2 can also be clipped or unclipped but it doesn't make much difference when you pose the model. There's a central pin which locks the extending mechanism and we'll see more about extending the trailer soon. Other functionality includes width markers which can be pushed out or pushed in. And you can also raise and lower the front landing legs and these work by friction because they're plastic. And it's nice that the ones at the back also work. Another feature on the trailer is the gooseneck which can be angled. In the rolling test you can see that all axles are properly grounded so they all turn. And if we set the steering on the rear four axles the trailer does a good job at turning. Another feature is that there are beams to extend the width of the trailer but there are no planks supplied with the model so you can't actually use them. A nicer touch is the opening doors on each side of the trailer and that's where the loading ramps are stored. There are two of them and these are metal parts. So that they fit properly one of them has to be stored upside down. When you want to load a piece of equipment on the trailer you put the loading ramps on and if you're going to do the job properly you also need to lower the rear landing legs. But on cranes etc we prefer to lower the weight of the machine being loaded by using the anti-gravity switch. When it's time to go long you need to pull out the locking pin from underneath the trailer and then you can extend it extremely easily. But there are no locking points for the extended mode. Let's do a quick dim check on the trailer to see how long it is. And it's about 22 inches or 56 centimeters. 
Of course, this particular truck is used to carry Senna Bogan equipment. So let's try it with some different looking loads. In many ways this is a typical Conrad model. It is very functional, although the cab of the Aerox does not tilt. But the level of detailing is not up to the best of modern standards. But it is a robust model and looks great with a Senna Bogan machine on board. And overall the model is rated as good.